Now, is, <laughs> is this a trade war? Because that's what the market's worried about. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And let me just say right at the top, number one, blame China, not President Trump, because they've been going on for many years. Trump is really the first president to fight back and to uh, put a shot across the bow that stealing intellectual property rights, technology transfers, uh, high barriers, investment limitations, high tariffs. This stuff is really um, not just unfair, it's unlawful. It's outside the boundaries of the uh, WTO. Every country in the world knows this. Every analyst knows this is the case. Somebody's got to deal with it. President Trump is going to deal with it. There's no trade war here. What you've got is the early stages of a process that will include tariffs, comments on the tariffs, then ultimate decisions and negotiations. There's already back-channel talks going on. So look, I understand the stock market's anxiety. I get that. But on the other hand, uh, don't overreact. We'll see how this works out. My view, Stu, look, you know I'm a growth guy. I'm a Reagan supply-side growth guy. I think that at the end of this whole process, the end of the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. And if you open up that pot, you will see better economic growth, more trading going on, uh, improved wages for both sides. Anytime you lower barriers, anytime you lower barriers, and that's the key, the president will say this, lower barriers is the key, don't raise the barriers. Anytime you do that, it's good for growth. It's good for American growth and American workers. It's good for China growth. It's good for the rest of the world's growth. Okay. And that's but the intention here. This is a growth play, Stu Varney. I want to make that as clear as I can. Okay, the pot of gold as that you talk about, yeah, it's growth, lowering barriers. But the pot of gold surely is also to get China to stop stealing our intellectual property and change the way it takes over our, uh, our technology. Now, that how do you do that? I, I understand it's a process of negotiation, but how do you get them just knock it off, stop this theft of intellectual property? Well, look, um, this is part of the process. And I'm not a fan of tariffs. I'm a free trader by and large. But I think the president is completely right to take these actions. Now, China is going to have its own tariff process. Bear in mind, Stu, these are just the first proposals, okay? In the United States, at least, um, we're putting it out for comment. It's going to take a couple months. Uh, I doubt if there'll be any concrete actions for several months. We'll see how that plays out. Nothing concrete has actually happened. These are proposals. But the message is clear. China has got to stop these unfair and illegal trading uh, 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 violations. They must. They've done it for years. Uh, they're, they're operating outside the WTO. You know, part of the process here is the United States is going to the World Trade Organization. And I also would I'd be very surprised if we didn't have huge backing. Uh, I call it uh, uh, trade coalition of the willing. I think other nations around the world are going to join the USA, not only in uh, tariff complaints, but also in WTO complaints. So I think this is right, fair. Trump's putting his cards on the table. He's standing up for this country, but he's also standing up for better world trade.